Now, sir, what makes a jail stand out? Its environment? Of course. Nasty inmates, perhaps. Maybe the spiteful guards, certainly. But what is a jail without an inmate's accessory? Rather, his jewels. The ball and chain. Hmm? Ooh, a man selling dodgeballs. The fake fur ball and chain, the convict's comforter. The disco ball for dance floor drama. <laughs> The crystal ball for the superstitious. The bowling ball to keep prisoners entertained. Shall we try? Yeah! It's, yeah! The ball! Strike! It's the ball! Hey! <laughs> Woohoo! All that great, but a ball and chain's most important feature is security. Well, then, look no further than the eyeball. Eye for incredible. Demonstration. Go on, then. Escape. <laughs> Are you sure about this system? Don't you worry. They won't get far. The ball is connected to a network of underground wires surrounding the penitentiary. And if the prisoner goes beyond the barrier... <laughs> <laughs> Eyeball. Eye for incredible. Hmm. Hmm. The system's 100% foolproof. Satisfaction or money back guarantee. No silly gadget ball and chain will stop us getting away. Hey, I got through! job is getting to be fun. Yeah, this is great. If the ball's high enough, the wires won't detect it. <laughs> I feel dizzy, Joe. Mm -hmm. This is truly impressive. Yes. In fact, with this system, we almost don't need guards. Hmm? Think we might lose our jobs? Better show them the system doesn't work. Look at those ninnies. <laughs> Underneath, it could work. It worked! It worked! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> You're lucky, guys. Thanks to these ball and chains, you can dispense with night duty. Good news, right? But, uh... Nothing can get past this system? Actually, I can. Wanna see? To activate or deactivate the system, I just tap in a special code. Now, it's deactivated. And now, it's activated again. So what's the code? Aha. Uh -huh. I've written it down somewhere. Top secret, of course. Well, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this ball and chain. Ah! Oh. At midnight, the ball and chain security system will be deactivated for one minute. Mm -hmm. Let's not ask why, mm. just go! Go fetch by moonlight? That's fun! <laughs> and now we take off the balls! The Daltons have escaped? How is that possible? We don't know. You were the one that took us off not duty. This is all because of those balls, but now you need us to find the Daltons. Hmm. Ready? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Which way did they go? But don't you worry, we'll find those guys. Yeah, because we are the best search and watch system. Excellent. Which way? That, that way. way. That, that way! way. Hmm? Hmm. 
My system's infallible. If the Daltons escaped, it's because they had the code. Then it's not infallible, is it? Well, then, there's a safety trigger. At 10 miles distance from the penitentiary, the balls explode. <laughs> <clears throat> well, yes, yeah, a big boom. Oh, that's so pretty. I tell you, that's dangerous. Let's keep away from it. Hey, you have to help me carry it. Thanks. Satisfaction or money back? Money back. Uh, no, 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 no. But what is... Watch out! <laughs> Let's follow their tracks. <laughs> I feel heavy. <sighs> it's better. We got rid of the ball! Free at last! Huh? All right, back to jail. If I told you someone helped us, you believe me, right? Uh-uh. No one believes me, and they wonder why I'm always so grumpy! What do we do now, Joe? We get out of here! Listen to this, guys. The government deals with the housing shortage for immigrants by requisitioning schools and saloons to change them to hotels. Imagine if they changed our penitentiary into a hotel. <laughs> Forget the tunnel. I've got a new plan. Oh, but it was just starting to go somewhere. Oh! My penitentiary a hotel? <laughs> you must be joking. What an absurdism. It's also illegal, so thanks, but no thanks. The mail, Mr. Peabody. Or rather, the bills. Wait, Daltons! <laughs> I thought it over. Okay for the hotel, but on one condition. Total discretionism, and you're going to deal with it, okay? Now, is that a deal? Huh? Well, okay. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me, Daltons, why the sudden interest in the hotel business? Oh, nothing special. We got all this room. Some folks don't have a place to sleep. We should try helping people out. <laughs> that was a brilliant idea, wasn't it? I think I'm going to talk to my brother about this. Yes, he too is a penitentiary director. Avril's on the reception desk. Hmm. Jack does the bar. <laughs> <laughs> William's in charge of the spa. What is going on here, Mr. Peabody? Uh, uh, well, these, uh, these little changes will, will provide more comfort for our inmates. A modern penitentiary must be warm and welcoming, in all simplicitism, of course. Oh, excellent! But aren't you worried that the new door will make them want to escape? <laughs> no, no, yes. Ooh. That is why I've asked Winton Dumb to keep watch. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why I'm the boss and you're not. How edifying. Uh-huh. Oh, boy, they put a fun ride. Oh. And welcome to the Penitentiary Palace Hotel. If you would care to follow me, a porter will deal with your luggage. Joe! Oh! Uh. What if it isn't a ride? What if it is a... a secret passage? That leads to exactly the same place. Bizarre. And here is your room. Time for us to get out of here. Wait a minute, I need a bottle. No heating. Right this way, everyone. It's fantastic. They're turning up by the dozens. Room, breakfast for room number three. The baby's diaper needs changing. And the pills Hey, I said I want ice cream. Oh, where's the pool? Oh. <laughs> we 
prepared a VIP cell with a view. <laughs> a room, why, of course, right this way. It's worse than it was before. We're still prisoners, but now we work ourselves to the bone. Hmm? I have an idea. We're going to be clients. <laughs> It's time. Let's go. Wait, you're leaving already? Aren't you happy with our service? <laughs> yes, yes, but we have a long road ahead. Yes, yes, baby, we're on our way. Fine, as you wish. Please step this way to settle your bill. <laughs> ah, that comes to about 345450 without the tips. Uh, can we pay in two installments? Nothing now, and the rest never! <laughs> He's so precious. God! Stop them! The Daltons are escaping! Very secretive, hmm? Mr. Peabody. Changing the penitentiary into a hotel, that's oh. clever and profitable. Well, aren't you meant to be holding a sewing class? <laughs> the service is awful, but worse, our clothes have been stolen. No way are we going to pay a penny of this bill. <laughs> this place no one here to welcome clients to this saloon hey oh barman <laughs> mr peabody yes abel peabody melvin's big brother and how are you dalton boys <laughs> he's better at decorating than his brother this way Your big secret? A hidden laboratory? <laughs> I'm making dynamite to blow this place to bits. Goodbye, prison. Hello, freedom. <laughs> Can I help, Joe? No. No, an underground hospital. That doctor must be doing top secret research for the government. I don't want to be a guinea pig. <laughs> Oh. Useless. Wow. <laughs> ah. Mmm, tasty. Sun's coming up fast. Get it back to our cell. Open up, you. Mm -hmm. Joe, to make nitroglycerin, you need an acid base for a complex molecule that gives you a delayed action sulfide. It's actually really quite easy as far as chemistry goes. Well, now, you're up early at the break of dawn. That's redundant. Break of dawn is early. <laughs> you see, if you hit the first stone, vibrations reach the one beside it, and on to the next one, and so on. <laughs> 
so bizarre. Avril, intelligent? How could this be? He's such a ninny. Smarts don't just happen all of a sudden. I'm going to call my uncle, Professor Aubert, a brain specialist. He can help us out. Here's the plan. I'm going to make them think that I found an anti-stupidity vaccine. They'll want it, but I'll ask for our freedom in exchange. But you don't have the vaccine. Well, yeah, but they don't know that. Mr. Peabody, let me introduce you to my uncle, the famous Professor Ober. Hmm, child. So, the genius. No, another doctor. Must be serious. This machine, which I invented, is the Intelligator. It measures a person's IQ on a 1 to 200 basis. So what is your top score? 167. That's mine, of course. So, what's 345,678 times 12.4? 4,286,407.2. Oh, that's phenomenal. His IQ outscores 200. That's thanks to Delta X, my very own anti stupidity vaccine. An anti stupidity vaccine? How wonderful! Uh, everyone would want to buy it. Here's my offer. I give you the formula, and you let us go free. Hmm. I'll need authorization from Washington. With this vaccine, my name will go down in history. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Washington agreed. Give me the formula, and you'll be free. Behind that false, well-intentioned smile, I detect a certain edge of deceit, as if you intend to keep the vaccine for yourself and oust Joe. If this were true, Peabody himself would have made this announcement and not you. Oh, he's too smart. Where is the formula? Oh, but of course, he memorized it. I have to make him talk. But not here. The Daltons! They're all gone! <laughs> so, did our expert in stupidity have a good night's sleep? The scientist who's getting all the glory is me, not you, you miserable little man. <laughs> Give me the formula for the vaccine. You can forget about it, Oprah. I'm not talking. Yeah, no fair. It's Joe's formula. Huh? Okay, I'll tell you so. Uh, take a big potato, peel it, boil it up, and... Do you take me for a fool? That's a recipe for stew. Mr. Ober, is it not unwise to eliminate stupidity? Is stupidity an illness? Who's stupid and who isn't? He's too smart. And I mean really smart. Professor Ober, hand over the Daltons! Stop this madness! Betty, but how? Yeah! Oh, oh, that wagon, Joe Dalton! We'll never be able to outrun them! Arrow, you're smart. What's your idea? Hurry! The vaccine has worn off. I really didn't expect that. I'm disappointed, Uncle. Being smart is exhausting. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> 